Welcome back to another video on YouTube. Another week has gone by. Um, what I wanted to talk about today, so today's subject that I'm going to touch on, um, try and not make this video 20, 30 minutes long. Um, intensity. So training intensity, tra intensity within your training, um, how you go about adding intensity into your sessions. Um, I know there's going to be quite a lot of people that are probably going to disagree with me because everyone has their own description of what intensity is. Um, I don't know people apply it in different, so many different ways you're going to apply it into your training. Um, so this is my opinion and this is how I perceive it and put it into my training sessions. Um, so I think the first thing that comes to mind when I think about intensity is obviously going to failure. So making sure pretty much every single set I do in the gym is taken to failure because um, I believe that is where you know the, the last two or three reps when you're beginning to reach failure they're the reps that count and they're the reps that are going to break down the fibers and essentially build muscle well break down and then build muscle outside the gym um, those are the reps that are going to do it and in, in getting towards failure you've got to go through some sort of intensity um, you've got to bring intensity into the set in order to reach failure as well um, if you're not being intense, there's no way you're going to get to failure. Um, there's no way you're going to get the most out of that movement. Um, another thing that comes to mind, so I'm just listing things off that I'm thinking of right now, um, is making the set or making the exercise as hard as possible, as hard as you can make it. Um, this for me is another way of incorporating intensity into your sessions. It's just trying to figure out how hard I can make this movement to where the body's having to work extremely hard in order to contract and you know um, stretch out the muscle because um, that's essentially what we need to do in order to break down the fibers is take the muscle through its full range of motion you know so if you're doing these short reps say on bench press you're just going halfway up um, halfway down sorry and up you know just jolting the weight pretty much you're not really being intense and you're not really um making the set as hard as you can you're just going through the motion and just pretty much going from a to b what you want to be doing is really thinking about where is a and where is b in terms of this movement and in terms of this set and how can i make this as hard as possible in order for me to bring intensity into this set and um essentially reach failure as quick as possible because that's what we want to do um we want to reach failure as quick as possible um because we don't we want to be doing as less as little amount of work as we can in the gym but still providing that stimulus to be able to cause growth and cause break breakdown that's essentially what we want to do um so you know for, for example my sessions at the moment say i have um, six or seven movements in a session that's six or seven top sets that's six or seven sets in total for the whole session um, that's it in terms of top sets I'm only doing six or seven sets in a session which for some people might be like that is not a lot at all maybe you're maybe you're doing four four sets for a top for one movement um, maybe doing four sets of twelve for one movement. Um, personally, I don't. I don't prefer doing that to start of training. I like doing the top set, back off set, progressive overload approach. I don't really like doing a lot of high volume stuff. I prefer the low volume. Um, you know, going all out on one set and then backing off and going out all all out on that set as well. Um, for me, that's just how I incorporate intensity into the session. You might think, okay by doing four sets of 12 or four sets of 10 and not taking much rest in between the sets, that's me incorporating intensity, which is right. You know, that is another form of intensity and is, you know, intensifier that's we, that you can um, use in your sessions. Um, <clears throat> so obviously a lot of people have their own opinion on intensity and how they take it into their sessions and then in their workouts. So. Actually, what I want you to do is drop in the comments below what you think is intensity and how do you bring it into your sessions. So let me know in the comments below because I'm actually quite interested in to see how 
other people incorporate intensity um because a lot of people have different definitions for intensity as well you know um for me it's like the amount of power or the amount of strength you have within a set again like i said at the start trying to take that set to absolute failure um is intense and trying to bring that intensity into the set every set is what is going to break down the fibers and and um essentially builds more tissue and gets hypertrophy so um we can obviously you know that's kind of just the base of intensity itself i'm going to put a bit of footage in um maybe over this or after i've spoken done about five or ten minutes of speaking um i will put some footage in, footage in and talk you through where i'm getting intensity from into in terms of that set um which i might do actually i'll put in like a hack squat or something um but we can use intensifiers within training as well so you can add these in which might not be all the time so it might not be um within your whole program you might just put it in at the end of the program for the last four or five weeks um you might think right i need to turn things up a bit let's turn the heat up a bit and add some intensifiers in just to try and get a bit more fatigue out of the body um you know try and because normally what people are doing is doing a 12 to 14 15 week phase and then they tend to do a back and then they tend to do a deload um obviously if you're training hard enough you need a deload if you're not training hard enough you could probably go on for um months and months you don't really need a back off but you know you can kind of judge with how hard you're training um to where your fatigue is setting and to where you need a you feel like you need a deload you feel like you feel like you need a rest um but intensifiers can be added at the end of this phase so like i said four to five weeks towards the end you add in let's say extended sets i'm just listing off the things that i'm doing at the moment or have done in the past um this is all being programmed all my programs get done by luke luke porter who owns um who's co-owner of elite um in prenton on the real um so he programs all my stuff so i'm just kind of just regurgitating this um this is what i've been through this is what i've done in the past it's what we did in think december near that time before my last deload we did this so we had an extended sets which is essentially you do your top set or your back off set and then you're at the end of your top set your rest probably i think it was one of them went up to like two minutes one or two minutes and then you'll go back in for another set pretty much continue on that set and try and get a try and squeeze maybe three to four to five more reps out of that set that's another way of including intensifiers into your session um you can do extended sets obviously we could talk about doing drop sets and um stuff like that i don't particularly well i i have in the past years ago but i don't really intro, introduce um drop sets and stuff like that at the moment just because i think that's more of a higher volume training type of training um I tend to, like I said, stick to top set, back off set, and then at the end of phases, add in different intensifiers and stuff like that. Um, we can also add in, you know, you've got um, muscle rounds, which is essentially um, maybe you'll do four sets of six or six sets of four, something like that, within the movement, which is really good, with like two, 20 to 30 seconds rest in between. So you're basically doing the set, resting, or what I like to do is do the set, keep the muscle in um, a stretch position on a machine um, say we're doing like a lap, single arm lap pull down you'll do your set um, so you do your set single arm and then once you get to the fourth or fifth rep whatever you're doing you keep your arm in that stretch position which is stretching out the lap for the 20, 20 to 30 seconds and then you'll go again four to five stretch out rest 20 30 go again and keep going until you finish the set um, that's just another way of bringing in intensity into a session. Um, what else? I'm, I'm sure there's loads I just can't think on the spot. Um, muscle rounds, um, extended sets. What else have I used? Um, I mean, that's pretty much. That's pretty much what I've used. I know there's loads. I know there's loads more that you can use, like the whole pyramiding, pyramiding up, pyramiding down, drop sets, and all that. Um, and supersets and, and stuff like that. I just haven't done much on supersets and that kind of high, I call it, you know, the higher volume training. 
Um, I think my training is quite low in terms of what, what we're trying to do. Um, obviously, we're trying to prioritise strength at the moment. So, well, and have been because we follow that progressive overload approach. So I can, tend to stick to two sets of movement, um, sometimes three. That's another thing you can do. You can add, if you're doing a, a top set, back off set, you can literally just add another set into your into your movement. So say you're doing a top set, a back off set, do a top set and two back off sets or two top sets and a back off set. You know, you can add in sets here and there, wherever you want um, and stuff like that. Add in this, maybe add in a super set if you want. There's loads of things I think, you know, when we're talking about intensity, you can add in all these different intensifiers and they do work and they do pay off. I think if you're doing them, if you're training hard enough, which you should anyway, you should be training to failure anyway. Um, these intensifiers don't need to last long. You can't, you won't be able to really keep them in a session, in a, in a session, in a phase for probably longer than five to six weeks. I think it'll be done if you're training, you know, full 100% maximum failure each set pretty much um you won't be able to keep him in for that long so i recommend you know four to five weeks solid work and then you'll probably be ready for a deload this is just again what my experience and what i'm going off um i never like to just make things up and i'll always regurgitate things that um i've done or i've, I've experienced um because obviously i've got a a better knowledge of how it works and what my experience is in that type of training. Um, but I think that just the general intensity in a session is having the mindset to go to failure, go to that place where you are uncomfortable, you know, doing an extra two or three reps, you know. Even myself on the hack squat on this Tuesday, um, I did my top set, which was good. Got to failure, got to the sticking point, and that was fine. Back off set, I wanted 10 with the amount of plates that I had on the bar. I don't remember how it was. I think it was like six aside. Um, I got 10. I got off. I stepped out. I was like, right, okay, good set. But I actually don't feel like um, I finished. So I went back in, you know, a few deep breaths, got my head straight, got back in the set and did an extra 10, you know. For me, that is where the intensity came into play um, because without me being intense through that last 10 reps, I wouldn't have been able to got it. You know, I wouldn't be able to get it, sorry. Um, and that just shows putting it into your training and being able to be intense and being able to s flick the switch and go into that mindset. It's very important in terms of progressive overload and getting to failure and reaching, you know, we want to be trying to um, be more in, not more intense, but you want to try and level up each session and try and bring your best self each session and try and beat the session from the session before. You know, whether that's being more intense, whether that's adding an extra few reps, um, you know, it does show in the session. So I'm going to put a bit of footage up now, just some training footage that I'll speak through. Might do, you know, four or five exercises. Um, and I'll just go through that and um, show you where I'm putting intensity within the set. And, um, you know, when I, it gets to like the last three or four reps that really matter, they're the, you know, the most important reps that we need. So we'll go into the videos now. So here we go. This is like the first example that I wanted to give in terms of adding intensity into a set. Um, pretty much the footage I'm going to show, I've got three videos. So this one and then two more, they're pretty much the same in terms of um, how I'm incorporating intensity um, with reaching absolute failure um, but as you'll see when once we go through the set now um, you know you'll see as the reps get harder and harder um, I think I gave like nine on this um, the last few and then especially the last one you know I'm trying to get the muscle to fatigue as much as possible making this set as hard as possible as well so a slow negative going as deep as I can and then contracting all the way up um, just to make it as hard as possible and as well we can add bands so adding those two green resistant bands on is just making the concentric very 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 hard and there you go absolute failure there Ryan nearly had to jump in managed to save myself on it but it's just another way we can incorporate it again on the hack squat 
So these are from this week's training. Um, this are from um, Tuesday's leg day. Um, again, on a hack squat here, trying to just go to failure, um, trying to reach a sticking point on the set um, here and trying to make the set as hard as possible by um, trying to go into the hole. Um, and you'll see my negatives. I try and keep as slow as possible um, and then getting into the hole and then contracting out using quads only. I try and keep my stance pretty close together. Um, so trying to make that eccentric really slow, make the quads work and then try not to jerk out the hole. So try not to use momentum as I go into the hole, trying to make it as hard as possible and just firing. Um, so as I get in, try not to bounce. I'm just trying to let the quads do the work and reach some sort of failure. So you'll see as the reps go on now, I try and keep each rep exactly the same. Try and still make it as hard as possible because I want to. I want to now fatigue the quads as much as I can. So try and get to failure as quick as possible right now. Um, what I meant by getting to failure as quick as possible, that's not meaning going to one rep max. That's in a set of six to eight and just trying to get to that sixth rep and really try and stick it. So there you see, getting to failure, sticking point, a little touch, and we're up. And this is from today. Another example of going to failure on our shoulder press. Um, so I think, I, went, I don't know what the reps were on this, but again, trying to keep it constant, trying to make the muscle burn, you know, trying to get the most out of this set now. Um, reps, yes, could be a bit slower, which I'll try and improve next week. But again, pushing to failure. So those little touches there from Neil do help, you know, and just getting to failure there. So just another few examples of how to reach failure. So just a few examples intensity. there of how to bring intensity into your session. It is the next day. That's why I'm doing different clothes. But, um, and we're in the car again, because I've just finished training. Um, I'd like to kind of do these videos straight after training. Um, cause I'm obviously thinking, still thinking about training and nothing else. So, um, just a few examples of how we can incorporate intensity into a session. Um, like I said, at the moment, I'm not really doing many intensifiers. Um, this, the intensifiers start next week and the week after, I think. So we're going to add extended sets in and stuff like that. So at the moment it's pretty much just baseline volume, um, and trying to work till failure. And this is kind of my only intensity in the session is going to failure and, and trying to just fatigue the muscle as much as I can within a set. Um, because at the end of the day, like I spoke about in the start with my session, I've only got seven top sets to really, to grow that muscle essentially. Um, so I've got seven sets to grow the muscle. So obviously you've got to put 110% into each of those sets because they're very limited. You know, I'm not doing four sets of 10 or four sets of 12. Um, you only get one shot at that top set and, um, and that's it, you know, using the progressive overload approach again is in adding intensity into the session, making sure that you're hitting numbers each week and ticking boxes. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video on intensity. Hopefully you can add something into your sessions, take some information if you have found this beneficial, take some into your sessions and uh, let me know in the comments what you think um, and how you get on, on with your training. So I'm going to leave it there. We'll see you next week. And uh, thank you for watching. Cheers, guys.